Hey everybody, so I know I don't really do monthly favorites, but um, I do have some favorite things and I thought I'd share them with you guys. Like I said, it's not monthly favorites, it's just what I've been liking recently. So, yeah, I'll just get into it. Um, Let's see, first thing, this is something that I have loved for a long time, but I've recently kind of like rediscovered it as my all-time favorite under eye concealer setting powder. <laughs> and it is Brulee by Wet n Wild, and as you can see... I have really hit pan on this. Um, it's an eyeshadow, and you can totally use it as an eyeshadow, but it matches my skin, like, perfectly, and it has amazing coverage. So, actually, after I do my concealer, I set it with this, and it is really amazing. Like, it gives so much coverage, and I have extremely dark circles, and it really, really helps. So, I have really been loving this, and it's, like, $1.99. Amazing. If you guys have, like, similar skin tone to me, definitely check it out. Another thing that goes along with this concealer is this Pixi. It is the Brightening Peach Under Eye Corrector. And it is a peach color. Don't let this scare you. All you do is you just put this on, you rub it in, gently of course, on your under eye circles. Then you top it off with um, your favorite concealer. And this just acts like a corrector, just like green corrector helps cancel out redness. Peach helps cancel out dark circles. And I have extremely dark circles, so this actually really helps. The only thing is, it's kind of pricey. I think it's $16, $15, $16 at Target. So it's kind of pricey, but honestly it is worth it because it really doesn't take that much. And I think it'll last a while. And anything that will help my dark circles is probably worth it. So I really do like this. And like I said, it is by the brand Pixie, which is at Target. really like that. Um, let's see, another thing I've been liking, BB Cream. Um, yeah, I know it's a pretty talked about, hyped up thing. Honestly, it's a tan moisturizer. Come on, people. Really? It is. But, I know I still have it. I own it, but, you know. And now they have CC creams, and it's like, how far are we going to take this? But, um, I really like this one. It's L'Oreal Magic BB Cream. I'm in the shade Fair. And I've actually been wearing this every day that I do my makeup, and I've just been wearing this with no foundation. My skin has been so dry lately that any foundation that I try just emphasizes my dry, flaky skin, and it's gross. So I've been using this. I really like it. Um, it's really moisturizing, which I like. And even when I do wear foundation, I'll use this like as a primer. It doesn't give all that much coverage, but when I use it in conjunction with the next topic that I'll talk about, it gives really good coverage, and I really like it. I'm wearing it today. <sighs> I really, really like it, and I've actually used almost this entire thing, and I don't think I've ever gone through, like, a, make a makeup product, like, ever. So, for me to say that I've used almost the entire bottle of this is pretty crazy. I really like it. I think it's around 12 to $13, depending on your drugstore. But, yeah, I actually really like this, so if you guys haven't tried it out, you might want to try that, because it's really nice, especially with summer coming up and warmer weather. You know, it's just, it's nice to have a lighter coverage. And then, like I said, when I use that with this, it gives me, like, flawless skin. Now, this is my all-time, all-time favorite for, like, the past probably month or two. It is my all-time favorite, and it is, like, three bucks, and it is the Wet n' Wild Coverall Press Powder Compact. This is amazing. I am in the co color Light slash Pale, and um, this is the lightest shade they have. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I cannot believe how much I love this. Like I said, I normally need to use foundation to get coverage enough for my skin because I have, you know, like redness and the occasional, you know, little friends that come to visit me on my face and little scars and all that kind of stuff. And I'm really picky with my coverage because it's like I can't be seen without coverage on my face. I use just this with BB cream and it is amazing. I use a little bit of concealer too. This is amazing. Um, it is actually now topped my all-time favorite MAC Studio Plus uh, the pressed powder foundation which is like 30 some dollars this is better than that <laughs> which I can't believe I'm saying because I am such a huge fan of the MAC powder foundation but but this has topped it and it's like $2.97 at Walmart and it, it's crazy this is what it looks like I really, really, really wish I had a mirror, but that's the only thing. I have this one, which I keep with my makeup, and then I bought another one for my purse. Um, it's amazing. Like I said, it has now topped my MAC foundation, powder foundation, which is insane because 
this is 90% cheaper than the MAC one. So I'm thrilled to pieces to find this. Um, I'm pretty sure pretty much all drugstores have this now. It's not too, too super new. I've seen it at Walmart too. Walmart is the cheapest. It's like $2.97 at Walmart and it's like $3.97 or $3.50 at Walgreens. Insanely cheap. So definitely, if you try anything from this video, try this because it's really good. I really like it. Alright, so now everything looks like so boring in comparison because it's like, that's just so amazing. It's like everything else is such a letdown. But I'll show you the rest of my favorites. Um, another favorite is my brow fix. I don't know if I talked about this before. I feel like I have. But I've just really been loving it lately. And it's by Milani. It's really nice. This is like perfect for traveling. If you travel a lot and you do your eyebrows, you really need to get this because it's amazing. It has your highlight powder and then it has two brow colors and this one is in the color um, medium. I only use this one. I'm not really into doing the whole two-tone. I really just use that one. And then it also has a little mirror and it has these cute little things that stick up a little brush, a little applicator, and some tweezers, which I don't really use, but if I was traveling and I forgot like my tweezers, it would be really nice to have this. It's in a little compact thing. Got this at CVS for, I think, eight bucks, I think, but I just really like it. It's what I use on my brows today. I use it every day that I'm doing my makeup. Really nice. Super easy to use. Love it. Um, I was debating on where to show you guys the next thing because it is discontinued, but I thought I'd show it anyway because it's a favorite of mine. So, it is the peach, or the, the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Peach Satin. And this is, um, I don't know if you guys remember these, but these are pretty old. And now what's replaced them is the Bouncy Blush, which I like those, but I like these a lot better. I'm so sad because it's like I fall in love with these, but they're discontinued so I can't find them anywhere. But I just, I really love this. It has a lot of pigmentation, and like I said, I have been having very dry skin lately. So creamy products look really good on dry skin as opposed to powders. So it just kind of adds a lot of chalkiness and dryness. So I've been trying to use a lot of like cream and mousse products, and I've really been liking this. I was able to swap for a couple more of them, but I really, oh my gosh, I want to get my hands on more of these so badly, but I can't find them anywhere because they're discontinued. So... That stinks, but at least I have a couple, and I really like this one. Like I said, it's in the color Peach Satin. I really like it. I'm wearing it today. Not like you can tell, because it's really dark and washed out in here, but I really like it. And then um, the brush that I use to apply it is this little Eco Tools Complexion Blending Brush. And this is like the perfect blush brush, because especially for um, any cream, any like creamy types of blushes because you just like dab it on. It's the perfect size to really blend in and get on the cheek area. It's not too big but it's not like super super tiny and I really like it. The blending, the blendability is really nice. It's so super soft and this actually came in a set. It's a newer set. It's like in a little box and it comes with like five brushes I believe and I just really like this one. It's just the perfect size to get in there and really blend it out. Super love it. So if you are a big cream blush fan, you might want to check out this set. I believe the set was like $15, but you get like five brushes, so it's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Alrighty, just two more kind of beauty related things, then I got a couple of fragrances, then I'm done. Don't worry, almost done. <laughs> this is another favorite. It's honestly just been a favorite for a really long time, and I just wanted to share it with you guys if I haven't talked about it yet. Baby Lips by Maybelline. This happens to be Twinkle. I think this was... I dropped it. I think it was a limited edition one, but um, honestly, any of them I love. My favorite is the pink one. I can't remember what it's called, but that's my all-time favorite. The pigmentation is amazing. It gives your lips such a pretty, pretty pink color for being a lip balm. I love them, and they're really moisturizing. Completely hooked and addicted to them. I love them. Um, another favorite thing is this manicure and spa. This is their extra repair hand cream. It's by Beauty Control. Absolutely amazing. Beauty Control is kind of like a Mary Kay Avon type thing. Oh my gosh, this hand lotion is amazing. I have the full size one and I'm like 60%, 70% of the way done with it. I only have a little bit left. It's amazing. And then I have one in my purse too because it's just, it's really good. It gives your hands like, it's almost like a glove. It's just, it's really, really nice. I love it. And then two more favorites, and then like I said, I'll be done. Fragrances. My favorite fragrances lately, I recently got some free ones from Sephora because I had gotten some of those little, what was the thing they did around Christmas time? It was like a box of samples and you get a coupon to get a free one. And then I got another one for Rollerballs. And it was um, like a little set of four of them and then you got a coupon to get a free Rollerball. So my two signature scents of the moment is Coach. Is this just a regular poppy? Yeah. 
This is Coach Poppy and I love it. I use it almost every day and then when I'm not using this I'm using Marc Jacobs Daisy which is really hard to say. <laughs> say that five times fast. This is a rollerball like I said and it just smells good. I really am bad at describing scents so I'm not even going to try but these are both really good scents. They're also really great you know like spring summer scents. They're just very fresh and they smell really good. That's about as good as I am with describing scents. They smell good. But um, I really would like to get a larger one of these and then put this in my purse. But perfume is kind of expensive. But um, yeah, and then the Coach Poppy. I really want to get some more Coach scents. But again, perfume is kind of expensive. And I need to use the perfume that I have. But yeah, definitely my two favorite perfumes of the moment. So yeah, whew, those are all my favorite things. If you guys have tried any of these things or plan on trying them, let me know. Like I said, if you're going to try anything from this video, please, please, I'm begging you, try the Wet n Wild powder because it's amazing. And for around three bucks, you really can't beat that. It's really, really good. So if you guys try any of this stuff, let me know. Also, if you guys would like to do a video response, I'd love to see it. Just link it down below and I'll definitely watch it. Or if you just want to tell me in the comments what your favorite things have been lately, I'd love to see them because I'm always trying new stuff and can use suggestions. So let me know. Make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.